In this problem, we are told 500 milliliters of D10W need to infuse over three hours. We need to calculate the infusion rate for an IV pump. When you see those words, IV pump, we immediately know a few things. First, is that we need to have our answer as, a, as milliliters per hour. We need to figure out how many milliliters should the patient receive every single hour. The reason why is that's what most of these pumps are going to do. You're going to have to type in the milliliters per hour. Not only that, but we also know that we need to round to the tenths place because these machines, most of them as we are familiar with, as you will become familiar with, are going to be precise to the nearest tenth of a milliliter per hour, of a tenth of a milliliter. So what we need to do, when you think about it, the volume here is 500 milliliters. That's how much needs to be infused. The time is in hours. In this case, we need it to infuse over three hours. So here's our bag. It's going to be connected to this little pump, and then that's going to be going into the patient. And what we'll do is we need to set the pump and tell the pump how many milliliters should the patient receive every hour. So is it 200? Is it 500? Is it 100? How many milliliters should this pump be pumping into the patient every single hour? The formula that we're used to seeing is that the flow rate, you might see R as well for rate, will equal the volume to be infused divided by the time. Now this should make sense. We need to take that volume, in this case 500, in this case milliliters, and split that amongst the three hours. So if I had 500 milliliters, I'm splitting that into three equal pieces to tell me how many milliliters per every one hour. So in this problem, if I start with the volume to infuse, which is 500 milliliters, and I divide that by the time, three hours, notice if you just do this division problem you're going to get a unit you're going to be you're going to know the milliliters per hour that's exactly what we want so if you do 500 divided by 3 you should get 166.6 repeating now do not round and you know don't calculate this and round in all in one step if you were to put equal to 166.7 I would take off a half a point. The reason why is we want to first find the exact answer. Now we can round appropriately. We know when you divide 500 by 3, you get 166.6 repeating. And then when you round that, you get 166.7 milliliters per hour. This is what we need to set the infusion pump for. All right? That's because we need milliliters per hour, which we have. We need to round at the tenths place. Every problem involving infusion rate, if you're calculating an infusion rate, can be set up in a similar manner. And that is start with the volume that you're infusing and divide that by the infusion time. And you will get something. And you, sometimes you might have to change the unit as we're about to see. Sometimes you may not.